What is going on guys, King Atlas coming at you with a quick unboxing and first impressions of the brand new released iPhone 7 Plus. This is the 128GB Jet Black Edition and I've been pretty excited to get my hands on it. There was something going on with my order and for some reason instead of getting it on Monday I ended up getting it on Wednesday so let's just get into this box. As you can see Apple decided to go with the black box with the Jet Black uh, model which is a pretty clean looking box don't get me wrong. As we get into the box, instead of the phone being first, you have all of your paperwork that typically comes with an iPhone. You get your Apple stickers, warranty guide information, and, and sort of a quick how-to guide of how to use the new home button and how to use the new 3D touch features. We have the actual phone itself in all of its glory, even though we're going to set it to the side for right now. We have the wall adapter, which is pretty standard. We have the new lightning ear pods now, and then on the back of that we'll find the little dongle of lightning to 3.5 millimeters so you can connect auxiliary cords, headphones, all that good stuff. And then last but not least, we have the lightning cable. So pretty standard Apple packaging, not too much going on in the box. So now as we look at the phone, we get to the part where everyone loves the most. We take the plastic off and we unveil this absolutely beautiful looking phone. The whole reason why I got the Jet Black Edition was just for how sleek and clean this looks. I know it's gonna get a lot of fingerprints. I know it's probably gonna get a lot of scratches. God damn, look at this phone. Like it is super, super clean. Um, that reflective glass just looks, it just looks beautiful. Holding it for the first time, it actually feels a little bit heavier than the 6S Plus. And I do like the fact that the glossiness kind of curves around to the display. So it feels like it's just all one glossy glass piece. So this thing looks very, very sexy. Taking a look at the bottom of the phone now, as you can see, we have our two speaker ports and the lightning port. We have our typical sleep and awake switch along with our volume buttons. They didn't really change much from last year other than making them a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more tactile and how they look with the phone now on the back of the phone as you can see we have our dual cameras one telephoto one wide angle along with our flash i'm actually really excited to start using this camera and get some test footage up to you guys it is an absolute beast and probably one of the main reasons you should get the iphone 7 plus just over the iphone 7. there's no really notable changes from the 6s plus to the 7 plus it's still a 5.5 inch display, but it's rocking a new A10 Fusion chip, which makes the phone just that much more snappy. So really the only main differences between the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus is you got a beefier camera, one more gig of RAM, and about a thousand milliamps more of battery life. So if you're debating between the two, in my opinion, the iPhone 7 Plus is definitely the better option. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for my iPhone 7 and 7 Plus review video. I'll make sure I break down all the details for anybody looking to purchase this phone. That's actually going to wrap up this video. I just want to do a quick unboxing and first impressions, taking a look at the new Jet Black iPhone 7 Plus. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ham on that like button. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.